Hi, I'm Kian. Today, we'll discuss two powerful principles in the psychology of persuasion and influence that you can use to increase membership at your school organization. Last month, I started the Harvard Dodgeball Club, where we play dodgeball at the gym every, uh, every week. Initially, we had trouble getting members to come, but after we started applying these principles of uh, psychology of influence, more people started to come and we had a really fun time. So now I will help you guys also figure out ways to get more people to show up. The first universally powerful rule that we'll discuss is the norm of reciprocity. Goldner discusses the norm of reciprocity, which is the unwritten rule that you should return other people's favors towards you. If someone helps you or gives you something, people feel obligated to give something back in return. This is such a powerful norm because people want to fit in and do what others expect of them. This no powerful norm has been tested experimentally by Kunz and Wolka. Researchers randomly selected a bun whole bunch of phone numbers from a telephone directory and sent them Christmas card greetings. Uh, even though the recipients had no idea who these researchers were, they sent Christmas cards back to the researchers. Although most of the Christmas cards were qu quickly written with just like signatures, some of the cards actually had information about where people included information about their families and recalling their old friendship, which they really never had. Even though the cards came unsol unsolicited from strangers, people still returned the favor. With this powerful principle in mind, I decided to try this out at the Harvard Dodgeball Club. Action! Hey Gretchen, how are you doing? I'm good, how are you? Doing good. Uh, I heard you're starting a juggling club. How's that going? It's good, it's kind of small right now though. We have meetings at 6 p.m. on Sundays. Oh, I'd love to come, come join. Uh, awesome, uh, that'd be great. Uh, also, we have a dodgeball club uh, meeting this Tuesday at 8 p.m. Would you like to come too? Yeah, I'll come, that'd be awesome. All right, yeah, thanks so much. Because I had said that I would commit my time attending her juggling club, she felt an obligation to also come to my dodgeball club too, to reciprocate for my favor. Even if you don't want to go to someone's club meetings, you could still accomplish your task and get more people to come by using the door in the face technique, which is an extension of the norm of reciprocity. First, you ask for someone for a big favor and wait for them to refuse it. Then you ask for a smaller favor that you actually really wanted. Since they feel guilty for having refused the favor, they feel an obligation to kind of fulfill the lesser, smaller favor. This was tested experimentally. So in the first part of the experiment, researchers went up to college students and asked them if they would be able to spend one afternoon um, chaperoning a group of boys or girls from the county juvenile center, detention center to the zoo. And only 17% agreed to this request. But in the second experiment, researchers first asked the college students, would you be able to um, volunteer at, at the county juvenile detention center every, every, uh, every week for uh, two minimum of two hours for a minimum of two years? In which case, ev everyone first uh, refused the big request. But then the, when the researchers asked a smaller request, could you then just spend one afternoon uh, taking these kids out to the zoo, then 50% agreed to do so. That's a huge jump from 17% to 50% from having just asked that larger, bigger request question. So that shows how effective that this foot in the door technique can be. Ask, asking this big question of favor first, and then since the college students felt bad about having refused that favor, um, then following it up with a smaller request, which they felt that they needed to make a concession of their own interest to. For my Harvard Dodgeball Club, I also tried applying this door in the face technique. Let's see how it went. Hey Ben, thanks for coming out to our club meeting tonight. Would you like to serve the Harvard Dodgeball Club as our publicity manager? You'd be responsible for one, uh, creating posters and posting them all around campus, two, uh, create, creating flyers and distributing them to everyone on campus, three, uh, managing our club Facebook page, four, emailing everyone about it, uh, in the college about it, five, 
of representing the club at a club activities fair, and six, organizing mini games at the square for publicity stunts. Um, no thanks, I don't think I can do that. Well then, can you at least show up to our dodgeball game uh, games every week? Sure, yeah, I can totally do that. All right, thanks. Yeah. If I had merely asked Ben to just come come to our meetings, he probably would have responded that, oh, I'm too busy. When he rejected my larger favor, he felt bad about it and felt that he owed me something. So when I asked for a smaller favor, he readily c complied. Today, we learned how we can use the norm of reciprocity and the foot in the door technique. I hope that you can use these principles, like how I did in my dodgeball club, to increase membership at your school organization. Thank you and best of luck.